Okay, so the first thing um, I want you to do is just go to what's called Open Caddis. No, no space right here. And you can log in. Um, I'm already logged in. Why don't you log in with your EMU account, uh, just to keep that easy, your EMU Gmail account. And then you'll click on Problems. Uh, and you can sort by all kinds of things. Uh, let's sort by difficulty level. I'm going to click it twice. So we start with the easiest. And um, once you've solved one, you'll see a green, green accepted here. You'll see lots of stats on about the problem. Uh, I'm going to jump to the second page for my example and click on this one, reverse. Uh, so this problem here is fairly straightforward. We're going to read in a list of integers and we're going to print them out back to the user, except they're going to be in reverse order. So if you give me one, two, three, I'll give you three, two, one. Uh, if you give me one, five, two, I'll give you two, five, one. Um, so I'm, we're not sorting at all. All we're doing is uh, putting them in reverse order. And it's always a good idea once you're you're reading the problem to then jump down to the sample input and output. Make sure you understand the problem. Um, so this, this first thing that they're going to give us as input is how many lines of input will follow. So that five is not actually part of the list. And then the list starts with the one, two, three, four, five, and then gets printed out here. Now at this point, I might think that they're in reverse order. Uh, so I jump down here. This three tells me we're going to have three points of input, uh, three lines three integers in our list, 10, 12, 9, and then notice um, 9, 12, 10. So they're not sorted. They're just completely, the order itself is reversed. Uh, when I'm ready to, when I think I've understood the question, I might play around with it in my own IDE for a while. Uh, but when I want to submit, I'm going to click down here, whichever language. If you do Python, make sure you get the correct one. I'm going to click Start Coding. Um, so I somehow need to get the, the input uh, from them. And a, a common way to do this is to use the sys. Uh, so you can import the sys. And then uh, let's see, from, let, let's do it this way. Let's give ourselves a list. So I'm gonna give myself a blank list and I'm gonna pull in the, the numbers from the, standard input. So this is how that works. Um, from line in sys dot stand input. Um, and I'm going to do split lines. So this just cleans it up, cleans any white space at the the Actually, I don't even need that. Let's let's just do this for line from line in sys dot stand in. Uh, let's just append each line. So each each line there is an integer, except the very first one, which will tell me how big this actually is. And then I'm going to um, list and I'm just going to start with item one that'll chop off that very first element of the list which is only telling me how many how many lines are going to be in there um, and actually let me just go ahead and reverse the list right now so let me I'm going to use my negative one to reverse the list and I'm going to put that zero in there so it doesn't include what will be the that one item that I don't want. And then I'm just going to hit print I. So I'm I'm doing my output by just printing. So the standard input is where I'm getting the information from. And then I'm just printing it out to the as if I was printing it to the shell. Okay, and then it'll go through a series of tests um, and then either accept or, or fail. Uh, you can see some some examples where you have a wrong answer. Sometimes it's just invalid, like a, your, your code itself has some kind of syntax error. Um, and then down here, it'll show you what 
uh, what you did most recently. I think you might be able to download all the ones you've submitted as well. So uh, my point is now I just want you to get a little practice with solving a couple of the really easy ones so you get, get the idea of how, how to work with standard input. Um, let's see. So here's another way you could, instead of doing a for loop, you could just read the entire thing. Here's what I was doing with the split lines. So notice here, I just, I've already imported the system module. Uh, I'm doing the standard input, read changes it to a string, and then this splits it to a line of strings cleaned up on the white space. Uh, so now inputs is just a list. And from this point, then I can interact with it as I would interact with any list. And then when I'm ready to print my answer, in this case, I'm printing it series of for loops. This is a totally different problem, by the way. Um, I, I can print when I'm ready. Uh, here, I did a for loop uh, to pull in just like I, I did in the example a few minutes ago. And then another way I could do the standard input, um, every time I call, for input from the user, it'll give me the next thing in that standard input. So notice here, I didn't import sys at all. Um, all I did was, the first thing I did was call for an input, converted it to an integer, and send then save that first line as n. Uh, and then from then on, anytime I wanted an input, it just gave me whatever was next in that standard input. Uh, so if you if it made sense to avoid standard input, or sorry, the um, sys module altogether, you could also do that. 